Question to you, if you were a full glam girl before motherhood, when was the last time you were glam? Because it's just a rarity these days for me. I feel like we're all in the need of a girl's night, so I'm gonna take you with me. I think that'll be fun. Okay, let's finish the rest of our makeup. We have 10 minutes. I don't really have the Pam Anderson boobs post breastfeeding. That's fine, that's fine. You don't need the boobs to own it. <laughs> Oh me? Mom can't come to the phone right now. She is just woman tonight. <laughs> that was so cheesy. <laughs> but we're having a girls' night. Girls in the game. Hello everybody, I hope you are having a beautiful day. If you are not and having a struggle day, I hope this helps you get through those hard times, a little break in those days. I know those days. Today, we do have a lot going on. Can I just say, is it weird to see me in all black? I don't think I've worn all black on camera in probably four years and it used to be my go-to. But oh, shout out to these pants, these parachute pants. Made me feel so cool. I got them in black. I already had them in a sage green. They are Princess Polly. Wait, are they Princess Polly? No, I lied. They're White Fox. They're White Fox and they're totally worth it. I am obsessed. We're switching things up. I'm about to, in like 10 minutes, go head out and get my hair done. I was going to throw in some color or some extensions, but I have to go pick up my daughter from preschool and I just don't think there'll be time to do anything other than a bleach and tone. But before we head out, we have a package to unbox because I am back into my home decor era. I did it a lot like one, two months ago with some painting and things and then I took a break. I wanted to reevaluate and see what path I wanted to go in. But I was really inspired. I found a girl on TikTok who does a ton of home decor stuff. And I pretty much just shopped her storefront and found the cutest items I thought I would quickly share before we head out. I got the shelving units, which I will show, but I needed some decor and stuff to go on it. Look how cute this bandeau vase is. It's just a little giddy up vase. Let's open her up. Oh, it's so cute. There's styrofoam inside, get out. This is item one I got suckered into buying, but just such a cute little vase. I've never seen anything like this. Very sweet, they did have other styles, but this was the one I was drawn to the most. This one might be a fail because I ordered the big size. You can kind of see what it is. There are these little cloud floating shelves. They had like pink, blue, white, I think black, a ton of different color options and different size options. And I wanted to go with the big one for the space. I imagined this. Oh, I was wrong. They said the big one. <laughs> oh, look how cute. I imagined this, this would be so cute in a nursery, but I imagined this in a certain area of my living room that's totally blank. But I don't know, part of me feels like this would be so cute in my daughter's room. I might do this in the living room and then do the pink one for my daughter, depending on how I like it. But it came with a full set, so you can kind of like, oh, wait. That one, oh, this one's upside down. I'm definitely gonna play around with the design on it if I wanna stack them evenly at an angle. I wonder if you could even, ooh. Okay, we're gonna have to play around with this. I really hope I can get to this today, but we'll see, we'll see. Because I also have to run errands, I have to go to CVS, get some prescriptions I have, which is really just the last prescription I'm on, which I want to get off of is I take a sleeping pill at night, like not one of the big ones, like Ambien or anything. It's actually one that was prescribed during breastfeeding. It's safe for that. Um, so it's a very mild one. And then this is my la pick up my daughter from school. And then this is my last day to pack for a weekend at my family's house. This is actually, we haven't been in like a month. And these are only $9. This isn't the vase that looks ridiculous. This is not the vase I initially wanted for this. I think that is actually still on its way, 
but so cute and a little more fun than the regular pompous grass everyone has. <gasps> Ooh, this one I'm so excited for. This I bought because that same girl had like an organizational TikTok on stacking all of her dishware. Oh, I'm gonna have to build this. This is, yeah, I'm gonna have to build this. We did get one more boring item, and by boring, I mean, <laughs> it's literally Kleenex, but we had to buy this for a fun thing. You'll see. Oh my God. <laughs> I bought the wrong size. I didn't think about it. You're gonna love this or hate it. It is a bubble cloud Kleenex holder. But what is wrong with me when I order stuff? Why don't I just double check things? I was like, oh, I don't have Kleenex. I need Kleenex. I bought the most amount of Kleenex anyone could buy. I mean, I'll still use this, but I gotta get creative. How do I do this? We took the Kleenex out. It doesn't even wanna be in that size box. So maybe I can just stick it in and hope for the best. Maybe this is how you do use it, because I don't know if a regular box would fit in here. Well, we made her work. Definitely double check sizes before, but this is so, so cute. Again, I know it's not everyone's style. I like, I don't know, I'm really into like soft, bubbly edges. It started with my coffee table just because I wanted something really round and curvy because kids run into everything and it's actually been a game changer. The amount of times my child could have hurt herself on the corner of a coffee table and hasn't because I bought like a curvy bubbly one has been game changing and it just, it's snowballing now, the bubble life. I hate being late so let's get the car on the road, the train on the road, the moving on the grooving, what? <laughs> The bag has been secured. Oh yeah, we got roots. Like five weeks. When you're platinum, it's just, it's hard with the roots. It's really hard on me. <laughs> Thinking about my next appointment, going to more natural blonde and doing extensions, we just don't have time at this one. So it's it's gonna be my, my go-to, my go-to, but I'll take you with me. Oh, we are home. I have all of the preschool items my drink, I rushed from my hair appointment to pick up my daughter from preschool, and then I dropped her off at her dad's because I didn't even mention, I have plans tonight. I'm going out, my friend is celebrating, does she want me to say or not? It's a one year anniversary celebration of celibacy? <laughs> We were gonna do um, a like a virgin party and I don't want that to be offensive to anyone. It's, you know, a, a thing, you know, to celebrate, obviously. The inspiration, I don't know. We were gonna dress up like Madonna and stuff and do like a veil. I, please don't take offense to this. Obviously, I know some people save themselves till marriage and everything, but I am proud of my friend for setting a goal for herself. It's been a year and we're all doing a dinner at a place called Beauty in Essex. I've never been, it looks very fancy, and then we're going out to some bars after, I don't know, I'm kind of along for the ride. I didn't make the plans. I'm just, I think I'm supposed to wear all black to it. Probably not this, maybe I'll find a dress. And we still have to pack, oh my gosh. You know, I wasn't even gonna show this because I hate repetitive content and my last day in the life, like two weeks ago, two vlogs ago, I ordered from Rent the Runway for my sister's bachelorette that is next weekend and I ended up not keeping anything but the purple dress and ended up ordering a bunch of black dresses because for the bachelorette there is one night where the bride wears white and all the girls wear black 
and I just didn't love any of the options I had. So I got different different options and I'm realizing now that I could potentially, if I try these on, pick one for the bachelorette and pick one to wear tonight. I don't think I ever explained my hair. I kind of showed you the after. We did something a little different. Instead of just doing like a straight up bleach and tone, we did a baby light with some money pieces and then what you call when you bleach here, I think the new trendy term is Scandinavian hairline. It's just where after they do everything, they kind of bleach all those baby hairs up here. And so if you're blonde, that's a new fun thing you can do. But we're prepping my hair for in five weeks. I, I'm going to do something fun and different. I got inspired by this girl's TikTok and fell in love with her hair. And I think I'm going to do some extensions, not as long as she has, but I'm going to kind of grow out my natural roots, do like a, not a natural blonde, but more natural than a platinum blonde. That is my goal. Now let's try on a bunch of, bunch of black. Why, why is there so much black in this video? First, we have this super simple option, but I feel like it fits really nicely and works for Vegas, isn't too showy. You don't want to show up the bride, but it's flattering. I think this could be a good choice. The only thing I don't love is that these could fall down at any minute, but maybe if I, nope, can't wear it lower. Can't wear it lower. Actually probably style it with some knee high boots, I think would be really cool rather than just doing a plain pair of heels. But option one, option two, of course, another black option, but this one's long sleeve, has a little cutout. I will say I should have listened to the reviews. This is very short, but luckily it's tight enough it wouldn't rise up. I will say if I raise my hands up, it might be getting a little, a little too short. Um, we also have shoulder pads in this, which is kind of cute. It's cute. It is, right? I don't know, maybe this is more Vegas than the other one. My next third option, let's try on. It's a little different. It is a velvet tuxedo blazer dress. This could be so cute or so I not. I haven't had a good look at her yet, but just by the feeling of it, it's way too short. This was marketed as a dress. If I stand very still, it works, but um, I'll, maybe I'll wear this tonight as a jacket. It's not, it's, not a dress and it's way too hot here or Vegas to be wearing it with pants. So this is gonna be a no. I mean, there's just, <laughs> we are going out and I feel so out of the going out game, especially nighttime makeup. I used to be all about makeup, but I'm feeling inspired for my girl's night out. I'm going to try Glamnetic Magnetic Lashes and it comes with magnetic liquid eyeliner. I really hope I don't have a bad reaction to this. I've never used it, but let's, let's do something special, you know? Using a very old eyeshadow from NARS in the shade Earthshine, I'm just gonna sparkle it up. I don't have too much time. I probably like 20 minutes to oomph up my, this was kind of a, fuller glam daytime makeup, but daytime makeup. Oh, that's so much darker than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, it's starting to look like 2016 makeup. I don't understand how this is gonna work. So this is magnetic and the eyelashes are just gonna stick to this with no glue. And then a tight line. It's just regular black pencil eyeliner. Thought so far, this eyeliner was very hard to do a wing with. I don't know if you're supposed to or maybe just use it on top of a regular liquid eyeliner and do this for the magnetic portion <laughs> do we try the lashes <laughs> i'm scared it doesn't look bad right now let's just do the lash let's go for the full game question to you if you were a full glam girl before motherhood when was the last time you were glam because it's just a rarity these days for me i might not have be able to do this on camera. I'm gonna try to do one on camera at least. I'll get into a squat position so you can see me. Please work. I got a lot of that eyeliner on my eyelashes. 
And so it's wanting to stick to my eyelashes. <sighs> it's stuck to my eyelashes. Oh, that looks awful. Does it? Wait, I switched lashes to the style princess. It's just on this eye, but I feel like it's a lot more flattering than my first pick. I'm gonna try doing the other one. Wish me luck. I think the style princess is really pretty. It did go on a lot easier when I could look in the mirror and not film it. But let's see how this holds up throughout the night. I think maybe I'll take you guys on a girl's night out with me so we can live through it together. I feel like we're all in the need of a girl's night. So I'm gonna take you with me. I think that'll be fun. Okay, let's finish the rest of our makeup. We have 10 minutes. Let's buff this in. Oop, did I use the wrong shade? Or is my face just that discolored right now? A little very used refi bronzer. Mostly on my forehead where my skin just got bleached off. A little blush. Never hurt anyone. I swear, if these eyelashes come off tonight when <laughs> I'm enjoying myself, they're staying off. <laughs> and I'm still enjoying myself. Cute a booty, booty. <laughs> Cute <a> beauty. <laughs> we know where my mind's at. Uh, in pound cake to set with a beauty blender sponge. Let's bake down here first. Do a little. Bacon, a little bacon in here. Can you guys just please tell me when to stop? Because I'm at that point now where I'm just adding too much. Oh my God, I have five minutes and I'm not even dressed. Uh, okay, maybe that's my call time. I would be fixing my brows, but unfortunately I decided to try out hair wax for my brow today and they won't move and they won't accept any pencil or powder. I'm gonna have to settle with my brows. I don't think they're too bad, but Oh, I sprayed the wrong way. You are beautiful, you are strong, you are smart, you are independent, and you are wearing magnetic eyelashes. You are ruling the world. A little cute of booty. <laughs> Why can't I not say beauty? Same booty. In what color are you? Honey beige. This is my go-to lip liner right now. It's just so pretty. I don't even need lipstick with it. This line, the outside, and then smudge it in. Stunning, stunning. If I was to add anything to my lips though, i just pick this up. It is the Tarte Lip Plumper in Cherry Blossom. A little goes a long way. Um, not the plump. It actually doesn't plump that much, but I like this color with this lip liner and I press. I don't swipe too much product. It looks crazy. We do actually have to get our buns into gear because it is one of those restaurants. Did I say where we're going? It's called Beauty in Essex. I've never been, but they don't sit the party until everyone's there and six people are going. I'm coming from like an hour away. I don't, is this hairspray? No, dry shampoo. Uh, I don't want to make everyone wait. So whatever I look like in five minutes is how I'm going. Let's get dressed and then we'll come back to the hair. Cause that's why mine works. Do a little of this, a little of that. And I'm all over the place. I had this bow top that hasn't fit me, but I just kept it. And now I've started working out and I've been gaining muscle and healthy, good weight. I think this, I'm so glad I held on to it even though I was just like, oh, I don't have the boobs to fill it out. I just needed like back and arm muscles and everything. And this little skort with it. Oh, it's cute. Why did I even run those black dresses? I could have just worn this. If I could do Pam Anderson hair, that whole like up to vibe, do I do it? I think I have to do it. With short hair, you gotta do it in two sections. So you do one kind of messy up. Again, only relevant if you have short hair or if you have like short bottom pieces, but you do the same on the back. It'll look crazy, but like something like this and what saves it is a hair clip. This is the only one I have. It's black, so like kind of a vibe. Pull pieces 
out. Ugh, I don't really have the Pam Anderson boobs post breastfeeding. That's fine. That's fine. You don't need the boobs to own it. <laughs> I'm so lost in the game, but it's okay. We are going to curl that little piece. I feel like he just needs like a little, little, just a little bit. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel like this was the right move. These earrings I was wearing earlier, or I do have silver hoops. I feel like that's good. Oh, wait, maybe not. I was gonna say it gets lost in the hair, but it kind of maybe modernizes this look. I'm gonna order my Uber in like three minutes. Okay. I should be there like right at 8.30. I'm wearing all black. I dressed up for you. Well, I'm wearing really colorful. Okay, well it's your party, so you can dress however you want, but I got the black memo, so I owned it. I'm killing it. I'm just gonna rub some body glimmer on me. I'm using it's the- I don't know where that is. I don't know. I'm not cool. I'm not hip. I don't know where things are. Just because you have a three-year-old doesn't mean you're not cool. And also, you've been to third base three times with me. Uh, well, one, I have mom brain. Two, yeah, I'm a mom, and I'm trying to be cool. I'm using the L'Oreal Lumi True Match. That is supposed to be a dupe for the drunk elephant, but I'm using it on my body, and I've never done this. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, oh yes. I'm also uh, vlogging right now, so you're on my vlog. Oh, well, I think people are bailing, so. What do you mean? Who's bailing? Julio. So how many people are coming to dinner? Four. Okay, well, you know, you gotta- Julio said he's gonna meet us out. Okay, well, I feel like a lot of people are gonna come after. Maybe a lot of people are trying to save money on dinner. Are you telling your, everyone that this is your special one year anniversary celibacy like a virgin party? Yes. I'm gonna put this on my legs. <gasps> oh, that's good. You have to get this stuff. The L'Oreal True Match in the darkest shade. It's like makeup. For your body. Oh, Let me order. A phone, um, selfie light. Yeah, I just charged it, but you never know with that guy if he's gonna last five minutes or two hours. We'll bring it anyway. I will. Okay, okay let's we'll see. Get your Uber and let me know what time it'll be there. I'm ordering it right now. Beauty and Essex. I'll get there at 827. I gotta give it to myself. I pulled out a look when I did not think I had one. And I did not think I had this woman inside of me, but it's good to meet her again after so many years. One quick full look. We got our boots, we got our shorts, we got our top, and I did put a jacket on just because it is hot right now. I think it's 78, but it'll get down to like 67, so gonna do a jacket vibe. That is the look, and now let's go out for a girls' night out. <laughs> Oh yeah. Girlfie, dumpling, and I don't know. Good morning. It is the next day and I don't regret everything, but it was really rough waking up this early. I only had two and a half drinks, but I probably only had four hours of sleep. So we're gonna go <laughs> grab the little one and drive three hours to my parents' house. But we do have the car all packed up. This is really just like a bag of snacks. Backup juice, we have a little riot back there and now we're gonna go pick up the little one and drive <laughs> three hours <laughs> to my parents' house. But then we'll have a nice family time and it'll be restful, but like, I'm tired. My eyes are burning. You know like when you don't sleep well and you just wake up with a horrendous stomach ache? Those are the vibes this morning.
Hi. She was clapping the whole way when we turned on the street. She was oh, going she knew. Yeah, she yeah, was so happy. Like oh, yeah. what street? You know the street. Yeah. Every like 20 minutes, she was like, "Grandma yeah. and Grandpa's house." I was like, yeah. "Yes, we're still yeah. going. We're yeah. still going." Yeah. Oh, yay! Yay! Yeah. Oh, oh. Bye. <laughs> Just me and the dog left. Okay, we got this. It's like I don't exist. I literally don't exist. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine.